Hello everybody, my name is Paul Kohler with Creator Studios and today I'm going to be taking you through a really pretty property of mine. I'm excited to show this to you. Actually, it's not my property. It's a property that I'm shooting, so I call it mine. But this is a two-unit vacation rental in downtown Bradenton or just outside of downtown Bradenton and it's only a couple blocks off of the Manatee River. It's an excellent location for an Airbnb but or vacation rental. But the nice thing, the reason why I'm excited about showing you this property is because they did a great job. I mean, when you get to go in and see a professionally managed vacation rental like this one, my clients, uh, the vacation rental company and realtors that I work with here, um, management, do a really nice job. They did another one I shot over in Anna Maria Island and they're just consistently on point every single time. I'll leave their name and uh, number in the description below. I love working with Matt, but we're gonna take you through real fast. I'm gonna show you what makes this just right so you know how far you gotta go in order to have your vacation rental ready, or if you're thinking about doing a vacation rental, what should it look like? Um, you know, what are the, what's the standard? Where is the bar so that you can come in at market with market and know that you're delivering a really great product and um, command, you know, the best and most fair asking price in your case. So it's going to be booked out all year round. And obviously when you're done with that, you're going to want to call somebody like me to come in and get really nice photographs for it so that it's able to show at top Right. And then if you're looking for a vacation rental in Bradenton, take a look at this. You can listen to my blabber about what's done, what's not done, how it should look and everything. But it's still going to be a really nice, fast way to see a beautiful property here in downtown Bradenton, Florida. Let's take a look. Okay, we'll start out from the exterior of the first unit here. And this is a 2-1. We're at 3002 4th Avenue. <coughs> yeah, I believe it's 4th Avenue. And it takes up the two units here and here. So there's a 2 1 and a 1 1. And both of them are very nicely done. They've got great curb appeal on the outside, safe neighborhood, and they're close to the Manatee River. The curb appeal is great. They've got really nice um, landscaping finished. It's well taken care of. The river's edge. This is unit B. There's a code to get in. Nice big screen TV, large fan that moves lots of air, and then excellent neutral colors. If you're looking to learn how to stage, just keep on reviewing this video. And then I'll put the photos on how this turned out in this video as well, so that you can see what the results are when you get professional photography and proper staging. And we'll just roll right through because this is pretty straightforward, but there's a nice dining area. And if we look back, the living area is large. You got a big couch and there's a bean bag. Dining area here and then they've got I like the wood accents down in the bottom there and seating bar stool seating right up against the kitchen with some very nice countertops and then you have your mini fridge there wine fridge and the coffee station and then they did a great job it's a vacation rental so they've got all of the information that you're gonna need in your book, 
phone numbers to call, trash, waste, Wi-Fi, etc. And they did a great job on the remodel when they redid this place with this kitchen. Large kitchen with dishwasher, stainless steel appliances, microwave. They even keep really good care of that cooktop. And then they didn't stop as far as style or expense was concerned. You got a nice deep stainless steel sink. Faucets. And then when I'm going through and I'm shooting a kitchen for photography, especially when it's um, when it is a vacation rental, I'd be sure and get the photos of things like utensils and then the pots and pans so everybody knows what they're going to be getting exactly and the cutting boards and you know the Pyrex containers serving dishes I'm gonna not I'm not gonna show all this stuff in the second one I took photos of them but just you know for brevity for this video we don't have to show that but I you know when you've got people who are coming for vacation rentals this is the kind of stuff that they want to know is handled and it's you know this they handled it really nice they've got great wine glasses shot glasses Nice, clean, perfect, beautiful cups. These aren't plastic cups. They're not paper cups like you get at some cheaper hotels. Everything is very nice. <laughs> plates, etc. I don't think there's anything out there worth mentioning. But then you have more plates and heat uh, controlling cups and you know everything you need. Oh, there's more silverware and everything here nice big stainless steel fridge and everything is super clean I love it when professionals take the time to care about the product they deliver and that's why you can trust guys like this if you're going to be getting a vacation rental because it's all set you got your coffee station and your wine refrigerator beautiful me the bathroom is shared so you got your linen shelf and then a nice vanity sink faucets Everything's really nice and clean. They did a beautiful job on this shower stall, removing the bathtub and putting in the tiles with the center drain. I got to replace my, get rid of the tub in mine and do something close to this because I love it. It's clean, it's efficient, and... Um, it's really nice. Oh, and they've got the folded towels. Same here. Really good. And going into bedroom number one. Both bedrooms are very nicely done. Both bedrooms have the large screen television. The big fan, a good size fan moving. And that's on remote. And plenty of natural light from those two big windows the towels there they did a good job I have even got a mirror so I can keep on looking at myself large chest of drawers and then coming into the closet cedar line closets with iron and ironing board extra pillows, extra blankets, linen basket, or, you know, waste, uh, what's your dirty clothes basket. <clears throat> then we'll go over into the other bedroom.
where you get access to your fenced in lanai and porch. And you know, everything is really nice. You can see big, big screen television, towels. Another chest there, dresser. Another cedar closet. I believe that's cedar. And another 